needed that, honey. What is up, my little dumpling? And thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know, my name is Mac Dizzle, and today we are going to be making the most epic sandwich ever. First things first, if you could just do me the biggest favor and give this video a like, it helps me out so much. Um, and I really appreciate it if you could do that, thank you. As you can see, I'm wearing this top from my um, Fashion Nova haul. Uh, I won't wear this in public. I've made a, an executive decision. I wear this when I stream and when I make videos, and this will be my in the house sexy top. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. So I don't know if any of you guys grew up watching Scooby-Doo, but that was one of the few shows that I was allowed to watch as a child. My parents were very strict about the type of content <laughs> my brother and I were consuming, and so they definitely like vetted every single show we watched. Um, but Scooby-Doo made it, all right? We were allowed to watch Scooby-Doo. I always remember watching Shaggy and Scooby make these crazy sandwiches on the show and they always looked so yummy and I have like just, my inner child has always wanted to recreate one of those sandwiches. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna heal the inner child. <laughs> and we're gonna make us one of those crazy sandwiches that Shaggy and Scooby used to make. If there's anyone out there who's like bored today and like you just have like some free time, go watch an old episode of Scooby-Doo. I think it's super funny to re-watch it now as an adult and just to see um, the character of Shaggy and how absolutely stony he was. That guy was high as fuck all the time, okay? Let's be clear. <laughs> Even the way they draw his eyes, the, the references are there and I encourage you to go find them. It's very funny. But yeah, the character Shaggy, he's always trying to make a sandwich because he always has the munchies. And all day today, all I could think about was one of those sandwiches. It's the only thing I could think about. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one of these real quick. <laughs> so while I was at the store, I got some different types of meats. I don't eat pork. And come to find out, like 50% of lunch meats are pork, ham, prosciutto, salami, pepperoni, all of those things made of pork. The meats that I did settle on, I got myself some turkey pepperoni, some rotisserie chicken breast, golden brown turkey breast, and some sliced beef pastrami. I don't really eat red meat all that often, um, but for the purposes of this video, I feel like we needed more than just turkey and chicken, all right? I don't know why I felt compelled to do this. I felt like we should make our own homemade ranch for this sandwich. I do not like any ranch that you can buy over the counter, okay? All of it is heinous. Hidden Valley, Ugh. Ken's. Ugh. There's not a brand of ranch that you can tell me that is sold in a bottle that I will like. I promise you. Anything that is shelf stable and not refrigerated and a cream, I have problems with that. I know it says refrigerate after opening, stop. This. This would never survive on a shelf at any stage in its life, okay? It needs to be refrigerated. So I don't know what they're putting in the ranch to make it that it can just live in a bottle at room temperature for weeks, months, but it makes it taste gross. So I opt to make my own ranch um, and it's really easy. So here's how you do it. You literally don't even need buttermilk. I like to add buttermilk to it just because it kind of thins it out um, and it's not as thick that you literally just need sour cream and a packet of Hidden Valley, Hidden, Hidden Valley seasoning. And I know I just talked a whole bunch of shit on Hidden Valley. I stand by it. I stand by the things that I said. Hidden Valley Bottle Ranch is absolutely dirt and you deserve better. But their ranch seasoning, they nailed that. The one thing that I that does make me sad is every time I buy buttermilk to make ranch, I only use like this much and then I don't use buttermilk. Like what else can you use buttermilk for? Fried chicken. What, can you freeze buttermilk? <laughs> is that a dumb question? <laughs> Tastes fantastic. Well, let me know what to do with this buttermilk, guys. I. I don't know what to do with it. Please tell me, thank you. Different sauces. We have some ranch, spicy mayonnaise, and some jalapeno Tabasco. I don't know, these just sounded like they wouldn't be terrible together. I have sliced jalapenos, romaine lettuce, and then I also have this ultra thin sharp cheddar. 
I don't know why extra thinly sliced cheese is superior, but it is, and we all need to accept that. I just found some spicy jalapeno mustard, so we're adding that to the sauces. Constructing this thing, right? When I was younger, my parents never, ever, ever bought Wonder Bread. Um, and I don't really buy bread as an adult now. I just don't eat bread very often. And I, I resented my parents for not buying this bread. It looks so good. So now me, as an adult with adult money, I'm buying whatever bread I want. So traditionally, <laughs> Scooby's um, shaggy sandwiches were like this tall. Uh, but he put barely any like meats on each section. He'd be like one slice of meat, lettuce, bread. Uh, no, way too much bread. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with four. Let's start with base number one. We're gonna put spicy mayonnaise on you. If I were a condiment, I used to hate mayonnaise as a child, like truly, and I still don't care for it all that much. But I have an appreciation for what it can bring to a sandwich. Behind the scenes, I'm just like. <sighs> All right, there we go. Uh, let's start with the turkey pepperoni, because I need it to like stick down. This this needs some some, some structural support. That's not how we're doing it over here. Some jalapenos are going right here. Pastrami and mustard slap, so we're gonna put the pastrami here. I was just about to wipe that meat juice on my thighs. Meat juice on my thighs, yeah. Lettuce. I don't like lettuce very much. I, I only brought this because I knew y'all were gonna judge me if I didn't put fucking lettuce on my sandwich. I don't think lettuce is a sway. It's gross. There we go. Lettuce. <laughs> that's the only lettuce that's going on the sandwich, okay? Don't fight with me. You know what, I don't even, I don't even want the middle part of this lettuce. I'm ripping this part off. Okay, see? An ample amount of lettuce. We're gonna ranch this piece of bread right here. I actually think we might double side ranch this one. Look, all right, yeah, she's getting some girth. All right, and then this one we'll do turkey pepperoni and the turkey breast. This is a 10 out of 10 activity. Like it's fun to make the sandwich <laughs> and I get to eat it after. So if you got a couple bucks to spare, I don't know, try this at home yourself. Okay. We haven't used any of this yet. Okay, hold on, wait, but we're missing one very, very special secret ingredient. Just for a little extra crunch, these are some salt and vinegar lays. All right. Ew, this thing, I mean, it's not as big as a Scooby-Doo sandwich, but I have a very small mouth, so I feel like I'm already gonna have a really hard time fitting this in there. I brought these olives because they always like stick an olive in the top, but I don't have any toothpicks, so. I'll just lay it on top of there. You may have noticed, um, I also have a 
I have these extra flaming Hot Cheetos and these Cherry Twizzlers, two of my favorite snacks. Kevin, I don't eat these very often. This was a special treat for me today because I know that the red dye is really bad for you. And just potato chips in general, not great for you. Was anyone, was anyone a child before um, in like the early 2000s when they first came out with Cheetos? Like the regular flaming Hot Cheetos, I feel like have been has have had their heat reduced to be more palatable to a wider audience. But I, I feel like I remember the original Hot Cheetos tasting like these ones do. Cause I don't even really like the flaming Hot ones. I really only like the extra hot ones. So, I don't know, has anyone, has anyone experienced that? Would you agree? All right, let's try this freaking sandwich. I have a very small mouth. I don't know how it's gonna fit. <laughs> but I'm just gonna try to like, Smush it down a little bit. All right. It's a lot going on. I don't think I like the lettuce. I'm taking it out. <laughs> Way better without the lettuce. Like I'm, I'm mad I did this to appease y'all. Like, ugh. whatever. If you like lettuce in your sandwich, hooray for you. I'm doing good work. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm I got some crunch from the chips this then. This is a really good sandwich. It's heavy. It's like two pounds. I don't think I can finish this. <laughs> it's still so heavy. I mean, it's really good though. All right, I'm putting her aside for now. Anyways, I'm extremely baked right now. I love doing this. I love making videos and sharing them with you guys. I think it's such a cool little privilege to have. And I hope I inspired like a couple of you to go make your own Scooby-Doo sandwich. Uh, what was your favorite cartoon to watch when you were a kid? I think my very favorite cartoon was SpongeBob. I should do a Krabby Patty one day. The issue is I don't like tomatoes. I don't like, like I don't, if I'm eating a hamburger or a cheeseburger, I don't want anything on it. I just want the sauce, the burger, and the cheese. I don't want lettuce, tomato, onion, none of the things that come on a Krabby Patty. I could make one for my boyfriend. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give this video a like. Again, it helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. That first rip I took when I got back from shopping, oh my God, chef's kiss, it was really good. All right guys, well, that's all I have for you this week. I will see you guys next Sunday. Um, if you're still watching this video right now, comment. Purple giraffe, there are no purple giraffes in here. Um, the spirits just spoke through me and that's what the spirits said. They said purple giraffe. Be good to yourself, be good to each other. Do something nice for yourself today, you deserve that. And if nobody else loves you, Mac does, okay? I'll see you next week. Mwah.